Hello everybody, my name is Sofkar and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today I'm gonna build one of those mystery cardboard boxes that are going to transform into something. And without anything else to say, let's start working on it. Okay, I created this 12x12x12 12 by 12 by 12 cardboard box and I'm gonna turn this thing into a transform transformable machine. Now I want this box to transform into some kind of a land vehicle, for example something like a moon buggy. Now this is just a shell, this is completely empty box, so I'm gonna open it and immediately start working on it. Now let's see, for example if I have some stored wheels inside, let's see, oh, those are some big wheels, so Let's see, what? they're barely fitting in, let's see if, if seat, if a seat fits in, that is a wrong seat, I need this one, whoa, that's good, that's good, yes, so I can use big wheels and that seat, okay, alright, my idea is this box is gonna open in half, so I'm gonna have this half and this half, so it splits right in the middle, like this. And then this side is gonna be the front part, this side is gonna be the end part of the vehicle. The seat is touching the roof, so this is the maximum height that I can use. Okay, seat won't move at all, so where, where I'm gonna place a seat he will be there forever. So somewhere in here, like that. Now, if I cut this thing, okay, and like this, what do I get? Am I able to place a bearing on a seat? Oops, wrong camera. Yes, I am. Okay, I want this half of a shell to be connected to that bearing. Okay, now this part that is missing from here is actually a wheelbase for wheels. Now this suspension is a bit too big. Yes, it is. So I'm go I'm forced to use smaller one, but that's completely fine. And th this is how it's gonna look. Of course. Uh, when it's tipped over like this. And that's one section of the vehicle. That's how it's gonna look. So this is gonna be connected something like this to the seat that is in here, like that. Right, I, I visualized that on an extremely bad example, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna place a piston in here. Now is this connected? No it isn't. I'm gonna disconnect this thing and now I need to place a bearing in here and start everything over. So I want this thing to be connected to this thing. Okay, this should be something like this. So but, wait, some, something is missing. Uh, I'm missing one bearing. Alright, the b missing bearing is here. Number one, number two, three and four. Now, to test things out, I want something like this. 30, 30, uh, Let's go for 5, and this is 90 degrees. Okay, and rotate this one. Nice, but, but, lower this thing to 15. I think that's gonna look nice. I need to just rebuild that on the other side. Alright, now then they are both connected.
Nice, nice, but but now I also I'm missing the steering, so that's fun. Let's add a steering to this thing. Now when I added a steering bearing that needs to be connected to steering. Let's try it now. So when I switch this. Nice. And now I have and now I also have a steering. So if I sit, it steers. Nice. Now repeat the process. Alright. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Th this is gonna look so nice. Whoa! Okay, okay. And I forgot to put the engine. Also to the seat. Nice. But... As I can see... Suspension is... Because of the suspension... What if I... Yeah, I, I may make it so hard. Hmm. I think the suspension is maybe a bad idea because of the fact that uh, the wheels are hitting the creation. Yeah, the wheels can't move an inch. Okay, let's let's try this one. So I place the suspension in, in here. Now how it's gonna behave. Alright, now when I put the suspension in here instead of uh, be, uh, behind wheels, let's see now how it's gonna perform. Now I need to reset everything up. Oh, uh, put it. How hard this thing has to be? This is the maximum? Alright, the steering is here, but it, it seems that I have a suspension glitch, that's why I'm flying all over the place. I decided that I won't have a suspension at all, but I'm gonna have pistons that are going to act like a suspension. So, if I just put two pistons inside, and connect those two wheels back to the position I'm able to extend the wheels a little bit lower and then the pistons will act like a suspension again back to the main frame and let's test things once again as it should be okay uh, uh, number two is too much oh this bearing isn't connected to anything that actually scared the heck out of me. Finally, things look normal. Okay, and repeat it on the other side. After I think 20 minutes of adjusting everything and testing what steering is better, here is the vehicle. I mean, now when I look at it, how it opens, it opens pretty violently and weird, but we're gonna fix that up. Now, the vehicle itself right now is very mobile and very agile 
Well, side, sometimes it can happen that uh, one side of the vehicle is better responding to the steering, like just there, but uh, that isn't a problem at all. Now, because it has a piston instead of a suspension, it's... Wow. Well, that, that's something new. It doesn't seem like it has a suspension, but believe me, it's better than having none of those. So, now, what I need is a floor that is capable of lowering itself and raising itself all, all by himself. All in here. Okay. Now when I close this thing. Nice. Now this has to be programmed to... Let's say... I'm gonna place that raise up. Let's say for... Yes! So, if I open this thing... Nice! So, then... I need to lower this thing. Like that. And then I need... 1 and 2. Uh, 3 and... Like this. And now there's the floor, so... It won't hit the ground. But let's see. It's so close! It's great! That, that's actually great! And, I mean, now also I'm able to do something like this. Place a bearing in here, place a bearing in here. Alright, I'm gonna place the roof holder right beside those. So, there is one roof holder. And... There is another. Now the roof itself is also be the fun part of this project. Oh, the roof holders are right here. I mean, you can all agree. I need to place a pistons here. And now we need to place a roof alongside with the sides because we need to do the sides. Okay. Open sesame. Okay, now this looks ugly, of course. Alright, I need to raise the roof, that's obvious. Then I have to do something with those two sides. 45 minutes of rewiring later. Alright, I rewired this box completely, so now we should be able to see the first part of the transformation. I also added this part here that is a stabilizer for the creation while it's opening and uh, after th the creation opens this will become the floor of the vehicle all right i'm gonna turn this thing on and show you guys how it opens all right that is the first part of the opening sequence the only thing left is those weird sides and roof now at the moment i don't know what to do with them but the vehicle acts pretty decently. New problem that occurred is the fact that I need more controllers for this thing. Now when I set those things up, let's go rewire everything up. Okay, let's test things out once again. Now, let's focus on what we are going to do with that roof. I mean, now that's all just trial and error in testing. Because... Nice! I have piston in here. 
And now I'm gonna just place the shape of this thing. Okay. And on the other side, I'm gonna place this shape just to test things out. So, how this thing. Whoa! Okay, <laughs> let's see how the box behaves now. So this part stuck and there is no question why. Okay, this one is actually helpful. Like this bearing, connect this bearing, the second one, 90 degrees, long 90 degrees. And first one by, let's say, 30. Okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna stick with that. Wait, but what if I do this? What if I do 90-90? Okay, 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 uh, no 90-90, uh, 75. Hmm. Or 60. 60. 60 is. Let's create something similar to the rear. And that's perfectly closed. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, 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 okay. Good, 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 perfect. Except the fact that uh, half of them are of wrong direction. <laughs> they now actually look like they are part of the steering system. Now I want to figure out this rear. It's it's kind of odd looking, and I really want to fix it. How how are those doors connected? So they're only on one bearing, and that's it. I just got this thing like this. Alright, I was messing around with the sides of the vehicle and I'm finally satisfied with the look of it. So, let me show you guys. Now, finally, it looks like a vehicle, which is excellent. And actually, I have feeling like I'm driving one of those Hot Wheels toys. But we are not done with this vehicle yet. Let, let, let me show you guys. The closing sequence is broken as everything. It's, it's... Yep, it's broken. <laughs> Completely broken. Now, what makes that closing sequence suck such a ridiculous mess is the fact that some controllers end up starting uh, the closing sequence earlier than they should. Which means that some of them need to wait, but they don't realize that. And easy fix to that problem is I just added controllable side skirts. I have 8 of them, the same amount as I have controllers. I have 8 controllers on the vehicle. Now I'm connecting every individual side skirt to any individual controller and now I'm connecting every single side skirt to individual controller. Alright, and now I need to make sure that all of them 
and their sequence right here. And here it is, the vehicle is finished, the transforming box complete. Let's watch the opening sequence for the last time. Nice, nice, and the closing sequence. And the box is finished. I, I, for a second I thought that those two were stuck. Oh, I know why are they stuck, because this frame rate is killingly slow. And here we are, in our fully operational transforming boxcar. And the best thing is, it doesn't bottoms out. And the only thing left to do is place this switch somewhere else. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you liked it. Leave a comment what should I build next, and see you in the next one, bye!